Like many of you, you want to become rich like Warren Buffett. Now, let's actually take a moment to actually consider how did Warren Buffett get to be as wealthy as he did. He would buy shares of individual stocks he thought were undervalued, but had intrinsic value and actually would deliver over the long run. He wasn't too concerned about the short-term fluctuations in these stocks because he thought of them as buy businesses. Now, for some of you, if you just starting out, maybe you don't even know what stocks are. Stocks are basically ownership of private companies and it's basically a way for the owner of a stock to shale, share part of their shares in order to get cash that they could use to grow their business. And then the public, as time goes on, is able to own parts of these shares of these companies. Now Buffett would actually buy things like Coca-Cola or or uh, as a public company or American Express and he knew long term there's something about a moat there's some kind of competitive advantage in these companies they are basically monopolies <laughs> he doesn't say it like that when he says moat he basically means monopolies and in recent years he's bought things like Apple because if you think about it is there any competitor to Apple in terms of really high margins great devices fanatical fan base there's there's really nothing quite like that but but Warren Buffett actually cautions you he says you know what you can't actually invest like me it just doesn't work if you try to copy me you're probably gonna lose money or underperform the indexes so the little bit of irony is that Warren Buffett has never said you can actually be like him he actually has said many times that you need to just buy Vanguard and Vanguard is pretty revolutionary is it not or by his stock, um, Berkshire, Hathaway, Berkshire Hathaway, which is very expensive, by the way. No, it's not expensive per se on a P basis. The the price there's a very high uh, one to A shares, but it's actually it just allows you to own more of it than, than the B shares, which is a lower price, but it, you own a lot less of it, and you also don't have as many voting rights. Anyway, uh, Warren Buffett is a big fan of buying Vanguard and of course that's the reason for that is because Vanguard ch uh, pay, uh, charges very low annual fees and basically Warren Buffett's view is the active, actively managed mutual funds and ETFs they charge a higher fee so it actually means that they are likely to actually underperform the index because with the higher fee that you're paying you definitely have to have a way higher performance and since most people are not even able to beat the index, even if they just match the index or these higher fees, you're going to actually underperform the index quite a lot after the fees are taken into account. So the irony is that Warren Buffett doesn't think that you can actually do things quite like him. And maybe it's because in this, in this kind of environment, most stocks are still highly, uh, they're still, still very highly priced. And now with the internet and people communicating with one another, it's kind of hard for a stock to kind of be under significantly underpriced and have some kind of strong long-term motive. Of course, there are some stocks that are value stocks, but they're not likely to be quite like the ones that Warren Buffett got when they were a lot cheaper, like, like uh, Coca-Cola as an example, even though that might not necessarily be such a great stock long-term, we'll see. Or American Express, I think that was one of Warren Buffett's uh, great calls. But he sees the value in, in things like Apple, though, recently, because he, he knows that Apple customers tend to be fanatical. I think that for the beginning investor, you need to actually, uh, you could actually just be very cautious, wait for this bear market to have its final conclusion. You could, uh, when you start seeing significant drops you can do some call a dollar cost averaging where you are slowly uh, again wading into the market you're not putting it all in at one time because that's kind of scary and you most people don't have the stomach to handle that kind of uh, a drop but the truth is that even Warren Buffett is not Warren Buffett anymore in recent years uh, Berkshire Hathaway hasn't really delivered quite the same kind of results that it once did and a lot of that probably has a lot to do with this different kind of market environment where there's a lot of information out there it's uh, there's a lot of other investors looking for similarly on uh, 
uh, low priced uh, stocks that have a great moat and things like that but it's unlikely that most people would will find it as for me i am still sitting in cash so i'm not trying to copy warren buffett whereas he's in the market i'm not i still believe that there is a significant drop significant drop coming about because as the rates start hurting the economy more and more the these companies are going to have their margins crushed their earnings will decline and investors are starting to gonna they're gonna throw in the towel when they realize you know what there is no uh, soft landing there is actually a hard landing coming about and I know people don't want to hear that but I think that's because people want to be optimistic because if I tell you that things are gonna crash you're gonna tune out you're gonna say okay I'm gonna go on vacation I'm not gonna watch any more financial videos and I'll watch Selby Church instead so that's what happens. What, what do you buy you, Danny? Still holding a lot of cash, and uh, I'm in agreement with Michael. I, I think that there will be many opportunities. It's been very difficult to trade unless you really want to be watching the screen, uh, you know, looking at uh, any kind of minute changes that you might be able to take advantage of. They're, they are around, but uh, sometimes you have a rug pull like, like we just had today which is uh, it's kind of fun to watch on the sidelines if you're not in. But uh, if you're on the wrong side of that, it's not ha not fun time. So it might be better just to wait until you see the market getting closer to uh, 3,000 maybe. That's my number, but we'll see if that actually works out that way. And the great thing about just watching the market is that you're starting to finally get interest being paid. You might get around even 4% in this day and age. So that's a remarkable thing. And so being patient is something that's very, very important. You're not going to be Buffett. You're, in fact, you're probably not going to be me. But the one thing I don't want you to be is to be a, a gambler or a Wall Street bets kind of person because it's really about the long term and focusing on achieving real results, not really about anything else. So. I hope I taught you something. Click like, subscribe. It really helps with the Google algorithm and I'll see you in the next video.